Hey everybody, Tactic Angel here. We're back on the World of Warships Legends on the PlayStation 4. Today we will be looking at the Gremyachi. I I tried really hard. I'm not really sure what the pronunciation for this is. Most English speakers will just call it the Gremmy. Uh, this is the fourth ship that you can get in the Founders Pack if you want to throw all of the money at Wargaming. And we'll be talking a little bit about what this Soviet Tier 4 Premium Destroyer is all about. Alright, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is survivability. Now, armor is listed on this page, but this is a destroyer. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here are your hit points. Uh, and the hit points should really only be used if you get spotted. After that, let's talk about the main battery. You are looking at four 130mm cannons. They fire at a range of 10.2 kilometers. Reload speed is 5.3 seconds. Uh, they turn glacially slow for a destroyer. 36 seconds isn't very good for a cruiser. And 36 seconds on a destroyer feels like just about forever. But probably what you're going to want to do is use the torpedoes on this boat. Uh, you'll be looking at two sets of three torpedo launchers. They are mounted right down the middle of the ship, so they fire over either side. Reload speed's not super at 67.6 seconds, but that's not terrible either. And more importantly, this can shoot out to a range of 8 kilometers, which is a little bit further than you can be spotted at. So you do have the ability to stealth fire these torpedoes and quietly assassinate your targets. And that's really what you would prefer to do in this boat. In terms of maneuverability, your maximum speed is 37 knots. With the speed boost, you can bump that up to just about 40 even. Uh, the turning radius of 510 meters feels very sluggish, but then again, the hope is that you do not have to do a lot of running and gunning in this like you might in an American destroyer. You really do want to think about trying to stealth launch those torpedoes. And finally you'll see just about how far you will be detected. It's six kilometers by sea, a little bit more than half of that from aircraft and your guaranteed detectability range, so if somebody drives towards you while you're in smoke, is two kilometers. All right, whatever, Tactic Angel. Just get to the battle already. We're on Haven. There's our uh, itty-bitty boat. And now we're charging forward. One of the things that you're going to want to think about doing in a destroyer is going for the caps. That is a thing that I've been trying to get myself to pay a little bit more attention to. So we're heading on over to B, testing out what do these arcs look like? Because I actually don't play this uh, ship all that much. I just I just couldn't pass up the the opportunity, and I had a good deal of fun in the beta. So why not throw some money at this game and then uh, help you guys figure out whether or not you want to throw a bunch of money at it? Uh, now, when I say the surface detectability of this is 6 kilometers, understand that uh, that isn't necessarily the lowest that you're going to face. So that Wakeful obviously spotted me, and I spotted him too. That's kind of the early game of destroyers all too often. Uh, it looks like he's smoking up. Uh, his smoke should help me remove myself from danger. Uh, without immediately taking any fire. I know that I'm shooting through his smoke right now. Uh, as long as somebody else doesn't see me while I'm shooting at him, then I should be able to take those free shots. And wow, look at that. I got 627 damage without any danger whatsoever. So now we're sitting in some smoke and you know, seeing what's up. Um, obviously, I can't spot for myself when I'm in the middle of this thing, so uh, we're just basically capping the base. 
with that done, it's time to move off and see what we can't start shooting at, or better yet, launching torpedoes at. Now we did start out down one ship, and as you can see with that outline, I am still shooting through smoke, so I should be able to do this without giving myself away. He is well outside of my minimum detectability. I'm not going to be able to keep this up, unfortunately, because I'm about to come around the end of that smoke cloud. And there you go, I I shot that too late. Not a big deal, because the island is now in the way of pretty much everybody. And unless that battleship that was behind the one I was shooting at was aiming right at me, he wasn't going to be able to get a shot by the time I got behind cover. Uh, we're going to see if we can't put some shells down on that Wakefield. Wakefield? Wakeful? Attack Angel is good at reading. Uh, so we missed terribly on the first set of shots. Uh, really kind of an embarrassing set of shots, but you know, whatever. I got him with the second. Yeah, we're safe for a few moments here behind the island. Uh, coming around the other side, it doesn't look like he is aiming at me, so I might as well uh, put some shots out there. We're trying to set some fires. Good way to farm some damage as a destroyer. We're aiming a little bit further back, hoping we can set the back of his ship on fire, and now that that's set, maybe we can even get the bow. Yeah, this isn't working, but... You know, it's the thought that counts, except in wins and losses. I'm going to go ahead and ensure that he dies. It looks like he is sailing pretty much in one, li one line, one direction. Uh, so, unless he gets blown up by somebody else, uh, those torpedoes should take him out. It now looks like he's starting to address me as a threat, but at this point I'm too close. I have to keep shooting and hope that I can take him down before he takes me down. So, yeah, he was sailing in one direction, pretty much not changing speed or heading, and we get him just with the one torpedo. Uh, but that secures our second kill. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm going to head towards the other side of the map because it looks like all the fun's happening over there Roger. while we're moving there we can just think about what just happened we're trying to maximize the number of times that we can shoot at people when they're not able to shoot at us so shooting over other people's smoke screens uh, shooting torpedoes from cover these are all Really good ideas when you're playing the Grammy. Now you see our top speed there. We are going to make it up to the 37 knots or 36.9, I guess. And it looks like everybody on the other side of the map has died because now we can't actually see where anybody is. But, somebody's trying to capture D. Uh, I'm going to angle my ship, assuming that I'm going to end up on the southern part of D. If I aim my, my guns over the port side, then I should have them somewhat pre-aimed, considering how slow this, this boat aims its main guns. Um, Getting in a fight with another destroyer isn't necessarily a bad thing to do in a Gremmy. Um, if they are too close to you, though, your turret rotation is really going to hurt. Uh, and sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to actually make it to D by the time that the enemy captures it. So, that's a sad panda. Sexual harassment panda. 
Okay, oh look, it's another Gremmy. And here's a good example of what I was just talking about. His guns are not pointed at me. So I'm gonna get several shots off here before he is able to respond. It looks like he's just about on target. Here comes his first volley now-ish. And you can see, just with how maneuverable this ship is, you can easily outmaneuver your guns. Or you can maneuver your guns into range. Still hasn't gotten a shot off on me. There we finally go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get him uh, moving in one direction just like the last guy. Get a good hit on him there. It's actually probably going to hurt me since I took out his engine. But his momentum carries him into those torpedoes. Now at this point, it uh, looks like I've got a battleship behind me. I'm going to steer away so that I'm putting the smoke screen between him and me. But I'm also slowing down because I'm hoping I can capture this point before he gets to it. And considering he's a battleship, I feel pretty good about that possibility. So we're kind of sailing out of this because we only expect the one ship. I should have been paying a little bit more attention to the fact that there's actually a cruiser up there as well. He gets pretty close to me. I decide to launch some of these torpedoes hoping that they'll get into range for him to turn away before I get detected, but I mean... That's a long shot, and clearly I'm too late. I need to get out of here. We put it to full speed ahead. We're going to take a hard turn to starboard and see if we can't uh, run away well enough to keep some of our points. Ah, we lose some there. And there's pretty much all the rest of them. So at this point, there's really no point in sticking around. So uh, time to go because uh, those 13,100 hit points, that's a limited supply. Uh, hopefully he is not paying attention and will ignore those torpedoes coming at him. It looks like he shot some torpedoes blind into that smoke screen. Not a bad idea. Uh, and we're thinking we're just about out of here when we see a battleship roll by. Well, that changes the equation just a little bit because their enemy, Wyoming, has just slipped behind that island and I actually managed to hit that guy with a torpedo. Which, once again, don't drive in straight lines. I'm gonna pull a Notzer and run into a island here. I'm going to pretend that that's at least partially intentionally. I did want to turn around and there's just not enough room in that channel to do so. Now we're putting more shells down there. The HE is going to set him on fire and if he's flooding from that torpedo he probably put that out. There's nothing he can do. He's dead. Uh, so there we go. We are looking at our fourth kill. And now there is an enemy Clemson coming around. I start turning again to starboard to try to keep all of my guns in the right direction. Uh, he doesn't have any hit points left, so... One shot. Boom. Fifth kill. We get a Kraken unleashed. Pretty, pretty fancy stuff. I know I un upload a lot of videos where I uh, make mistakes, and that's intentional for the most part. I'm a decent player, but not extraordinary by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, and sometimes those mistakes are useful for other people to learn from. Uh, in this case, this this kind of shows you the things that you can do with a Gremmy. It shows its strengths and its weaknesses because we fought another Gremmy. Uh, and right now I'm. I'm doing good destroyer work. He is clearly focused in on somebody who is not Tactic Angel. And his guns remain not pointed at me. He sails straight into my torpedoes again. We get our sixth kill. 
So, I mean, this is a very capable ship. 43, or 43, 73,000 damage isn't exactly massive. It's certainly enough to kill one and almost two full battleships. Uh, but we're going to stick around here and do the good, the good thing for our team. Capture this point. Uh, the game's pretty much over at this point because in terms of points, there's really just no way that that guy's going to catch up. And in terms of killing people, it's hard to come back from 1 to 5 in World of Tanks, much less World of Warships. So, for the most part, that's the Gremmy. Uh, pretty decent ship. I'm a little bit frustrated in terms of how slowly its guns turn, but it does have pretty good torpedo systems. And should you buy it? Should you not? I mean, it's all kind of a big question about how much $107 is worth to you. But I don't regret it. It's a fun ship. I take it out every now and again. Uh, you get the commander... Uh, Anton Murin or something like that. Uh, he has... He's fine. There's nothing really to write home about. Uh, he has some ability that allows you to do more damage with guns, which is a really good synergy with uh, Halsey, if you're looking at how the current commander system works. Uh, but... Again, is it worth it just for that? I'm sure eventually he would come out when the when the rest of the Russians do. I don't know. Maybe it sweetens the deal for you. Anyway, this is going to play out. I am going to go ahead and sign off rather than just talking uh, endlessly. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you everybody who's joined since the last video I uploaded. There seems to be a... some somewhat large surge in activity to my channel, and I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.